Now, if you've been to my channel before, you know that I talk about side hustles a lot. So you might be saying to yourself, but Judd, this doesn't make any sense. You talk about side hustles. You're right. And there's nothing wrong with looking for a side hustle to make a little extra cash. But let's face it, a side hustle is not gonna make you rich. And we've all been there, myself included, endlessly scrolling through YouTube and social media, looking at all these different ways to make money online. And guess what? We end up completely frustrated, overwhelmed, and just confused. So this video is to help you get off the side hustle hamster wheel and actually get a business plan together so you can start making some real money online. So what I'm gonna do is take you guys through five very simple steps to launching your first product and actually selling it online. And don't worry if you don't have anything to sell, I got you covered. Not only am I gonna show you where you can go and create totally free digital products. I'm also gonna share with you guys at the end a digital product that I'm selling right now that's making me $500 per sale and I didn't even create it myself. Step one is solving a problem. Before we can do anything, we have to make sure that we can actually solve a problem because that's how we're gonna make money online. Nobody cares if you came up with the next big widget. People wanna know, can you solve my problem? And this is where a lot of people go wrong. They think they have to be the next Uber or the next Google to really make a serious impact and make some serious income online. But nothing could be further from the truth. There are people making a fortune online right now, teaching people how to set up their own chicken coops in the backyard. There are people making money, showing people how to shear sheep and then take that wool and knit a sweater with it. So there is a place for you to make money online, my friend. The best thing to do is to start with your hobbies, start with your skills, and start with what you're good at. Now notice how I didn't say start with your passion because that advice can steer people the wrong way. Having a passion is great, but if your passion doesn't solve a problem, you're probably not gonna make any money with it. So the best thing to do is to find that intersection with what you're good at and where you can solve a problem. And it's real easy to get started with this. Just get a pen and paper and start writing down everything you're good at. And then next to that, write down how you can solve a problem. You could even ask your spouse, ask your friends, hey, what am I good at? You just might surprise yourself. Maybe you're somebody who's really good with dogs. You know how to potty trained dogs. That is a skill and that is also a huge problem that people face. I know as a dog owner myself, potty training my dogs was miserable. So guess what? I paid somebody else to show me how to do it and I paid them a lot of money. So once you've figured out what you're good at and the problem you can solve, then we can move on to step Two, step two, creating your minimum viable product or your MVP. Essentially, your MVP is just the most basic or entry level version of your product. And the goal is not to make millions of dollars from this initial product. The goal is to prove our idea, to make sure that there is a need for this, and to test our product, to make sure that it's actually good and that it actually solves problems. And when we start with our first product, in this case, we're gonna talk about creating a digital product. I like to start with a very low ticket product. Now, everybody has their own idea on what's considered low ticket. I like to say anywhere from 37 to $97. Basically, you don't wanna go over $100 on the first run of your product. So let's use the dog training or potty training as an example from the last step. Let's say you're somebody who's really good at potty training dogs and you wanna get your business out there. What you would do is create a simple guide. Let's say it's 10 steps to potty train your dog in the next two weeks. This is information that is easily consumed by the end user or the customer, and it actually solves a problem. You could charge easily for something like this, 37 to $97. So the goal here is to get them into our ecosystem, right? We wanna get them in, we wanna get them consuming our information. And the best place to go create a digital product, I've 
talked about it on my channel many times, is Canva, C-A-N-V-A. -A. You can go into Canva for free, and there are hundreds and hundreds of templates that you can use to create a simple ebook or guide. And then you would put in the steps to achieve this goal, which is showing somebody how to potty train their dog in two weeks. And then you would save it as a downloadable PDF on Canva. And this is the actual product that we're going to deliver to our customers. Which brings me to step three. We need somewhere to actually deliver our product, sell our product, and start making money. Now, there are two pieces of software that I recommend, and both are going to have their pros and cons. One is called StanStore and the other is called Systems.io. With StanStore, there is a fee. I believe it's $29 per month, but it comes with a 14-day free trial. The reason I like StanStore is because it is designed to be used on mobile devices. It is designed to sell stuff using Instagram and Facebook and TikTok. So if you're leaning in that direction, if you have an idea of the platform, you may want to start growing your audience on, StanStore might be the best option for you. The downside is it is $29 a month, but it is an amazing tool. Next is systems.io. Now, this is a totally free tool. They do have paid options, but you can get started with the free tool, no problem. The only downside or con is there's going to be a little bit more tech involved. It is totally beginner friendly. There's very little tech, but there is more tech involved and it's not specifically designed for mobile devices, even though you can absolutely use it on mobile devices. Now, what's great about both of these platforms is this is gonna be your website, your landing page. If you don't know what a landing page is, this is where you actually collect the email. And it's also gonna be where you get paid. So you could connect a Stripe account, you can use PayPal. I use both of them, that way people have options, but both of those will allow you to collect payments and they will both allow you to actually send your digital product once it is paid for. Number four, traffic. You got to start building a tribe. You got to start building a community and you need to find out where your people hang out. If you're in your 20s and you're talking about weight loss, maybe TikTok is the best social media platform for you or Instagram. But for me, I'm a 52 year old stay at home dad. My audience is right here on YouTube and on Facebook. And then I have some people on Instagram. TikTok is not really where my audience hangs out. Think about the problem you're solving. Think about your audience. Where do they live? And that's where you need to create a profile and start creating content. And when it comes to creating content in the beginning, your focus is just educating people, providing value. You want to build a community of people that know, like you and trust you. And then eventually the sales will start coming in. Number five, scaling our business because we don't want to keep selling selling our product for $37 or $47. As you are growing your tribe, as you are growing your community, like we talked about in the last step, it is important to ask questions. When people buy your product, send them a survey. When people are commenting on your content, comment back, ask them questions, send them DMs, find out what their problems are, what their pain points are, because all of this information is extremely valuable and you can start putting this back into your product or back into your course, whatever it is that you are selling and you can make it better. You can refine it. And then slowly over time, you can start to increase the price. And it's a lot lot easier to sell something to somebody who's already bought something from you than trying to sell to a brand new customer. So you want to really take good care of those warm leads, of those followers, of those customers. Now, some of you will be able to run with this information, go out there and start selling your product. Awesome. Some of you will need a little bit more help on how to actually piece this together, how to create content and how to grow an audience. If so, I recommend you check out my totally free digital marketing guide for beginners. This will teach you everything you need to know step by step. You can grab that in the link below. Also, 
in this free guide, I share with you the product that I'm selling right now that is a done for you product. It was created and now I can resell it over and over again. And it makes me $500 per sale. I put in all the information in there on that as well. Thank you so much for watching everybody. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.